Hello, my name is Avi Telias. I manage the pre-sales team of the Networking Business Unit for NVIDIA, and I will present here uh, the DGXA100 SuperPod and Pod Design. The Pod and the SuperPod Design are the result of our experience deploying such system. Uh, it started all with the DGX1 uh, and the Saturn V system. And throughout the years, we deployed more and more nodes. DGX2 launch, uh, 1,468 nodes uh, around 2018, and introduction ML Perf. And as you can see, we also uh, climbed up the top 500 from 28 to 22 to 20. Uh, with the DX, DGXA100 launch, and the Celine SuperPod, uh, we climbed to number seven, and we recently also upgraded the Celine uh, with the DGXA 108 gigabyte, 80 gigabyte, and we reached number five in the top 500. The new DGXA 100 system with 80 gigabyte GPU was launched during SC 2020. The system has 640 gigabyte of GPU memory per system, which allows us to increase model accuracy and have faster time to solution. You can see here it's three times faster for large model training and you can see two times faster for data analytics analyzing massive data sets. The 80 gigabyte GPU allows us to have more memory per MIG. When you slice the GPU with MIG, each slice can have more memory and allow us again to have better performance and analyzing larger data sets in the system. I mentioned earlier the Celine SuperPod, but let's dive into the details of such system. So first of all, it has 560 NVIDIA DGXA100 with InfiniBand network of 850 HDR switches. It is number one on MLPerf for commercially available system, and number five on the top 500. These are 63 petaflops of HPL performance. It's not only high performing, it's also power efficient, being number one on the green 500 with 20.5 gigaflops per watt. To understand the SuperPod design, we need to better understand the internal of the DGXA100 system. Here you can see the different GPUs which are connected over NVLink and NV switches, which build their own internal network. But to go to the CPU and to the network itself, we have the PCI Express switches that have Connectx6 connected directly to them. So for example, when GPU 01 want to connect to the network, they will use the Connectx sixes that are closer on the PCI Express switch. Uh, for the storage connectivity, you can see these two HCAs which connect to CPU 0 and CPU 1 respectively. And from the internal design, let's look at the DGXA100. As we have seen before, it has eight single port connect x6 hca which are connected to the compute network it also has two dual port storage hca which have storage connectivity as well as in-band management of the system uh, running the job scheduler managing the system and the task and of course we also have out of band one gig connectivity to manage the devices to allow us access remotely to the bmc so uh, we have seen the internal design, we've seen the PCI Express switch connectivity, and this is what a scalable unit, a 20 DGXA100 system will look like. And as we mentioned before, the design of the connectivity of the compute nodes, compute HCAs to the switches is decided by sharp version two support and optimization of the fabric performance. So this is very important to follow the reference architecture to make sure that we gain the maximum performance from what we deploy. Let's look in more details into the SU and scalable unit and how it's being designed. 
And one of the important thing here is also modularity, um, which allows us to deploy it faster and more effectively. And you can see here uh, the compute, the DGXA100 systems with some of the compute switches. And here you have the compute fabric and management, which have all most of the switches, out of band switches and in band switches, uh, the management nodes, and of course the storage rack. Uh, according to our experience, such a design allows us to deploy faster and again serve you faster uh, from the day that you get the DGXs until the day that you can actually run task on the system. I've talked about CHOP several times, so let's uh, have one slide. Let's talk a bit about what is SHOP and why is it important to make sure that the system is optimized for SHOP. So SHOP is the capability of adding computing to the network. The network itself can run some of the computation. It's called collective offload and we support, support barrier, reduce or reduce broadcast. Uh, these are the different commands that we can support and the different uh, data types that are supported. So why is it important? It is important because uh, machine learning training requires a lot of reduction. And relying on the switches for the reduction actually improves performance by 20% and even more than that. So just think about having 20% more performance in your system. It's like adding another DGX uh, to maybe an eight node system that provides more performance with the right design. So what the switches are doing, the switches are building a computation tree and actually the computation is done in the switch and then the result is being propagated to the different hosts. So let's look at the SOPOPOD design, which is comprised of seven scalable units. As I mentioned before about Sharp version 2, it is important to keep the connectivity as described in the reference architecture to have the best performance from the system. We have also recently added uh, unified fabric management, the management of the fabric and we added some additional switches and additional recommendation on how to connect the system. So this is the compute fabric. And on the bottom, you can see the storage fabric. A reminder, each node has two links which are dedicated to storage fabric. And we also have TUFM on the storage fabric. So these are two independent fabric and each of them has different management modules, okay? So uh, again, this is a super pod design which has 140 DGXA100. Uh, of course, and we'll see in the next slide, you don't have to start from the super pod, uh, but it's important to understand the design and how it's been built for scalability. The reference architecture allows you to scale as you grow. You can start from a single DGXA100 with five petaflop of performance, and then the reference architecture will help you to grow to two nodes to uh, explain exactly how to connect the management servers, how to connect the compute and the storage up to eight nodes, and of course, all the way up to the super pod. So we have uh, online tools that we can share. We can share the reference architecture and, and the design for each of, of the subsystems that you can see here. Uh, it's important to mention here that um, it's important to keep the compute and the storage network separate. We wanna make sure that compute has the best performance, the best bandwidth for the training, for the performance of the application, as well as have dedicated storage bandwidth uh, to allow to transfer data effectively. One last thing is about our professional services. And I want to mention that uh, we are here to help you. Uh, we are here to uh, train you on the super pod and the pod design. Uh, we are here to help you design your system. Uh, we are here to help you deploy it. Uh, what is most important for us is, is shorten the time uh, to a working system. 
So we would like to be there with you and help you, again, design, deploy, and tune the system to match your requirement.